You and I, T E D, united are the team for me with a nick nap pay like give dog bone, why don't see it? Fuck off home. And City have fucked off home. Manchester's red. It's a 2-1 comeback. Derby will at Old Trafford. I've lost my voice in case you can't tell. Um, Wowie. Wowie. What a game. What a game. It's Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford that score the difference. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Do you know what that's worth? Man, City are the shittest on earth. Come on. Let's get these player ratings. I can't, I can't wait. I mean, the first half... Man City obviously um, controlled the possession. It's what they always do, no matter who they play. Um, we were organised really, really well. And it was a nil at half time. And I'm, I was happy with the nil nil. Some of our final balls were a little bit questionable. But then you get to the second half, and Man City start flawlessly. They're controlling the ball, but they're also whipping a few balls into the box, which were really, really dangerous. Um, Haaland was nowhere to be seen. Kevin De Bruyne, apart from the assist um, after the game, was allegedly found in Fred's back pocket. And, I mean, oh, <laughs> let's go through the goals quickly. Um, Man City's first goal, I believe uh, Casemiro couldn't have done anything more. The ball was put in by De Bruyne. Fred was a touch out of position, still hard to get to. I think one Bissaka was the man to blame for that. Um, there was a blame out on that one, and it was Jack Grealish all alone. Aaron Wan Bissaka's man, not good enough. Um, luckily, Wan Bissaka got Old Trafford up and about and got us back in that game. Um, our first goal, at the time, and I'm still a bit iffy about it, Rickett could have been offside. I think Marcus Rashford was clearly offside, obviously. We all know that. And Bruno scored it. I think Rashford had an interference in that play, technically. I think he could have had an interference in the play. I'm watching the replay here. Ball's through. Rashford's on it. He doesn't touch the ball. He's blocking the City defender. He's let it go. And he's scored. There was a big fight after that between players and refs. But the goal counted. The goal counted. And, yeah, that's what happened there. Second goal. Man, Alejandro Ganacho, best 18-year-old in the world, will be the best in the world. Gets the assist after coming on. Marcus Rashford, the goal. Rashford's on fire. Oh, wow. Your defense is terrified. Let's get into these play ratings. And David De Gea is getting a seven from me. A good performance from De Gea. Could have not done anything on the goal. But the reason he's getting a seven for me is the same reason Manchester City fans and a lot of games would give Edison a seven. His distribution was of some of the best keepers in the league. And like, he just blending in. The distribution he had today was off some of the best keepers in the league. The long balls he was pinging were so accurate. He was so damn comfortable with his feet. I've never seen De Gea move the ball so much. It was just absolutely ridiculous how comfortable and good De Gea looked today. Um, he gets a seven from me. And it wasn't a shot-stopping performance. It was a modern-day keeper performance. Fantastic by De Gea. Um, was Rashford on side? Yeah, he was on He was on side. Ake kept him on side. Juan Bissaka, he's going to get a six from me. Uh, got the crowd up and about in that second half. Some of his dribbling and some of his defensive work won us the game. Um, I'm going to give him a six, though, because he cost us a goal. Grealish was all alone, and that was his man. But he has to get a six because of how good he was defensively. <sighs> I'm going to give Varane a seven. Not quite an eight. Not quite an eight. I'm going to give Varane a seven. He's one of two contenders for Meg in the match for me. Wow. Rolls-Royce, as calm as you like. What a player Rafael Varane is. One of the best centre-backs in the world. Um, arguably the best centre-back in the Premier League. He is on a different level. And is still criminally underrated by people who say Ruben Diaz is better. Than people who say Laporte is better. Than people who say Stones is better. Than people who say Thiago Silva is better. Uh, Saliba. You can all get fucked because you're all wrong. Rafael Varane is the best centre-back in the Premier League. I'm going to give Luke Shaw a 7. I didn't think he was as noticeable as Varane when mopping up balls, but he stayed locked down, and at the end, when he needed to make a few crucial clearances, he did. Rock solid, definitely a backup left center back option, but that did make me nervous when he was starting, when Tyrell Malasia was at left back. I thought he was going to get cooked by Mares. Instead, Tyrell picked up Mares with his pinky, chucked him in his pocket, and got a 7 out of 10. Wasn't expecting that from Tyrell against Mares. He's crumbled in big games this season, Malasia, and he's developing, and he's developing well. Fantastic game, defensively and offensively. Crucial on the ball, really good performance. Casemiro, man. Casemiro, he gets a seven. 
Um, I mean, controls, dictates, bosses, whatever you like, studs up into the ball, tenacity, ferociousness. He's a leader, the true leader of men on that field. Casemiro, take a bow, my friend. Fred. Now, out of my three men on the match contenders, Fred is one of them. Fred's one of them. Casemiro's one of them. Varane's one of them. Fred, apart from the assist from De Bruyne, this was De Bruyne, and he just fucking shoved him in his back pocket. I've never seen De Bruyne pocketed so hard. Fred put in a masterclass, and it's as simple as that. Ericsson, I'm going to also give a seven. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree with that. Actually, do I? Who do I give a six? I gave a six to one Bissaka. I think it has to be a six for Ericsson. Ericsson was not a five. He was a six. He wasn't amazing. He, he wasn't incredible. But he was fundamental to how we played today. Well, I thought he was going to get bullied in the midfield. I was scared with the midfield of Ericsson, Fred, and Casemiro. But... His key balls and City allowing the United to play so open through the midfield with the overlaps from Malassia, Rashford, um, Bruno and Wan-Bissaka allowed Ericsson to play some one-touch really key balls through and I thought he was a fundamental part to the game today. Wasn't flashy, wasn't over the top with how impactful he was, but he was fundamental. Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes, Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. I'm giving him a seven because he scored. Frustrated me at times, but he lifts that team. He has the captain's armband, and that is that was a true captain today, Bruno. That was a true captain. He he lifted the team. Frustrated the fans at times with a few poor key balls into the final third, but he got the goal. He made the difference. Bruno's a seven. Rashford also gets a seven. Same as Bruno. Frustrating at times when he probably in the first half could have had a brace and made it 2-0 early when he just needed to take the shot one touch earlier than he did and Allison could easily cleaned it up. Um, and then you see late in the first half him get injured and you think he's gone. I said straight away, I think it was just an, a knee in the ham here and he'd be fine. And that was exactly right. Um, and he was fine. Looks a little bit unfit for the first 10 of the second half, but so happy um, Rashford was able to score that goal. Uh, yeah, and, and great communication by Rashford and Bruno on that first one too. Martial, I'm going to give a six. I know this is going to get a low score. I know this is going to get a four or a five. Not as low as I thought. Martial's a six. His build-up play was fundamental, and we noticed it in the first 10 to 15 of that second half. His build-up and his positioning was fundamental to that team in the first half, almost playing as, as a false nine in a front two, if that makes sense. Um, doesn't make sense, but that's sort of the role he was playing. Always playing as a number 10 alongside Bruno. Um, I, I think Marcel was fundamental. We noticed the difference when we subbed him off, although it was the right substitution. Because Anthony, I think, probably gets... Ugh, I'm giving him a six, but he was good. He was good. He brought ferociousness, intensity, and excitement to the game, which is exactly what we needed from Anthony. And... As soon as I said, bring Ganacho on, Ganacho came on and he gets a seven because he got the assist. He is 18 years old and he is a star boy. Martinez, six. Maguire, six. Why is, <laughs> why is Martinez a 6.3 Maguire a 5.7? <laughs> they were on for the same amount of time and they did the exact same thing. McTominay, six. This is always going to be a low score. <laughs> yeah, why? Ten Hag, give me a ten. Give me a 10. Give me a 10, Eric Ten Hag. You can't organise a team that well, change your formation, change your lineup questionably, and perform that well. I, I feel like an 8 is an injustice to Eric Ten Hag's performance, not only this game, but over the last nine games. That is a nine-win winning streak at Old Trafford. That is the longest winning streak at Old Trafford since Alex Ferguson was managing. Take a bow. Take a bow. Man of the match, I am going to end up going with Rafael Varane. I thought he was a Rolls Royce and he was just absolutely fantastic. He's going to get my man of the match. Submit my vote. I reckon it's going to go Rashford because it's fans. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I never thought I'd see the day. Wow. I don't hate it. I really don't hate it, you know. I mean, I gave him a 10, right? I gave him a 10. Is it, is it an injustice giving the manager a 10 and not man of the match? Is it an injustice? Is it? Because I'll give him it if, if I need. I will give him it if I need. But wow, is that an injustice? I don't know. Could I change my answer to Ten Hag? 
I had loved that. I love Ten Hag getting man of the match because it's a very fair shout. I thought we were just two players. I thought Varane was the best player, but if you're going to give it to Ten Hag, I'm not complaining. What a performance. I gave him a 10, and that's for a reason. So, uh, yeah, I, I, what a win. Manchester's red. See you for Palace. Come on.